Can I please meet someone halfway through our relationship? At that time where we can both drink wine on my sofa and be fine with not saying a word for an hour. At that point where I don't have to pretend I'm interesting or make out that I believe in anything at all. At that moment she can snort when laughing and it not be a thing and I can wear jogging bottoms with holes at the bottom without thinking. Can we meet at that time where she has eyes for only me and secretly she hates that shirt I'm wearing but likes the fact I love it. Can I please meet someone halfway through our relationship? Do you know what I love? And when I say love, I mean that deep, near indescribable feeling bubbling through my core, clawing at my heart and pulling tears from my eyes, that consistent, fearful longing, boundless and brilliant, infinitely incredible, filled with light and melodies and dancing and clutching every nerve in my body kind of love. That love which grasps the hand in your pocket and won't let go come rain, snow, beating heat or blinding hailstones. That love which forms the final twist of the Rubik's Cube, dots the eyes, dashes the T's, and frees the body, mind and soul whilst anchoring my feet to solid ground. I love cake. <laughs> <laughs> I truly, madly, deeply love cake. I love the variety, the effort, the sponge, the buttercream, the lemon drizzle, the poppy seed, the candle squares, circle slices and icing. I love the bakers, their personality through the tastiest art form, the finishing touches and the representation of themselves through the presentation of such deliciousness. I love sharing and wearing pirate hats inside the house with no hope of boarding anything but neighbours damaged fences. And questionable drinks, pissing in sinks, thinking the world's my oyster, with forced smiles, listening to music I hate, with people I would not only take a bullet for, but would somehow enter their minds and remove every bad memory, every awkward silence, every sense of futility, depression, panic, hurt, every suicidal thought and every lost family member until they saw only beauty in all things. I love staying up late, planting words in a phone, letting elaborate thoughts grow and grow sky high into realms unknown. Not waiting for logic to kick in, but allowing dreams and conscious thought to distort with linked arms and the prettiest smiles. I love rhythms of tapping feet in lifts and sticks on skins, developing grooves, once unthinkable, and the realisation of music resonating within the very core of this minuscule and giant floating rock we call Earth. I love you, everything you've done, do and will eventually move on to. I love you so purely, so honestly, so immensely that mere words in a poem pale by comparison, that no Valentine's Day card will ever replicate, no mathematician will ever comprehend, no utterance from a tired mother's lips to the ear of her newborn child will ever communicate. I love you all as the potential within you spreads through the air like butter on warm toast. And even doing nothing but listening, you fill the space with the kindest, fullest, and brightest of frequencies. The earth may sing, but you write its harmonies, and what harmonies they are, the beauty of these melodies, resounds through infinite space for eternity. I love every single one of you for that. <laughs>